Welcome back to the Death Row and Executions channel. I am Paco Rivera. You can also follow me on Facebook for more updates and Death Row news. There will be a link to my Facebook in the description below. Okay, so there really isn't a big story to tell with the case that I'm going to discuss today, as there seems to be with most other cases that I've done. The only bit of oddity with this case seems to be that the death row inmate is Jewish. And from the research that I've done, that does seem to be kind of rare, especially for one to get an execution date. Unfortunately, I also wasn't able to find any detailed information on the victim other than her name and age. And even getting some of that was very difficult. So... I'm not able to provide a proper tribute to her. Most media reports on this case don't even mention her name. As a result, this video will probably be a lot shorter than most others that I've done. Jedediah Murphy is now a 48-year-old man on death row before the kidnapping, carjacking, and murder of 79-year-old Birdie Cunningham. He had a long history of violence, mostly domestic, also robberies, and another kidnapping in which the victim escaped. He was released on parole for his crimes in 1994. Six years later, on October 4th of the year 2000, while in Garland, Texas, Jedediah Murphy, 25 years old at the time, had spotted Bertie Cunningham and pointed a gun at her. He then forced the elderly woman to drive for about 30 minutes and then told her to stop the car. Murphy then forced Bertie to get into the trunk of her car and while she was getting into the trunk, he shot her, but she did not die immediately. Murphy then drove the car to Van Zant County and placed Bertie in a creek where she ultimately drowned. Sometime later, Murphy then used the victim's credit cards to purchase liquor and cigarettes. Investigators tracked the purchases of the victim's stolen credit cards back to Jedediah Murphy, and he was arrested two days later. Murphy gave a full confession and led police to the creek where he had disposed of the body. Murphy told investigators that he was very high on cocaine on the day of the murder. And when investigators drove him in a car and asked him to point out the exact spot where the abduction happened, he was not able to provide that location. All he knew was that it was somewhere in Garland. Back in the year 2007, now on death row, Murphy in what seems to be an attempt at gathering some pen pals, he wrote the following letter. And with outside help, he got it published on the internet. My name is Jedediah Isaac Murphy and I'm on Texas death row. July of 2007 will be my sixth year here on the row. I grew up in East Texas and graduated high school in 1994. Reports I've seen show him being released on parole in 1994, so I don't know how he managed a graduation, but okay, we'll continue. Graduated high school in 1994 from a small town east of Dallas, Texas. I have a daughter that is fixing to be 10 years old. This was written in 2007, so that daughter would be about 26 years old now. Fixing to be 10 years old that I love with every ounce of my heart and soul. I couldn't possibly put the amount of love that I have for her in words. I'm easygoing and love to laugh. I'm in a tough situation here, so I try to keep myself occupied as much as possible. I'd like to find someone open-minded and willing to accept me and my past. I've seen a lot in my almost 32 years and I can relate to anyone. I've also made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I don't make excuses. I learned years ago the value of a good friend and hopefully you'll read this and give me a chance to show you that beyond my faults I'm just a man looking for friendship. Friendships are a two-way street and hopefully at the end of the day we'll leave each other with a few less worries and a few more smiles. I'll leave you with this. I see people all the time who did what they were put here to do and did it well. They got it right. To me, that is all that life really is. A chance to get it right. I'm still trying to get it right and I could use all the help I can get. Best wishes to you and yours. 
Respectfully, Jedediah I. Murphy. Jedediah Murphy, as I said before, is Jewish. According to reports, he was abandoned by his parents when he was five years old and raised as a young boy by his Jewish grandparents. But he mostly grew up in foster homes, according to reports. So he never had a bar mitzvah. In 2016, he finally received one from a visiting rabbi while on death row. Please remember to subscribe for more death row and upcoming execution stories. You can also follow me on Facebook for updates and more death row news. There will be a link to my Facebook in the description below. I'm Paco Rivera. Bye for now.